Hello everybody and welcome to yet another Con Animators review. Today we will be talking about the IG-86 Assassin Droid from the new Star Wars Clone Wars collection. Uh, here is the figure itself. Overall, I love this guy. He's one of my favorite guys right now. Probably one of the most poseable droids that they have. Sorry, he doesn't stand very well. There he is. As you notice, there is a hole on his back. Wait. Right there. Just a second. I'll grab his backpack. So as you can see there's the little notch right there. Hooks. Two holding compartments. Stick the backpack. Slap it onto the back. Put his backpack on. So that's him with his gear. Um, I'll talk about articulation in a little bit. But it also comes with two well, blue blasters right here. Can't know if you. See, I don't know if you can see it, but they're more of a turquoise, just kind of blue. You push it. Wait for it to click on the backpack. The backpack has these two holders and these two guns. Let me show you one of the holders right there. You can see those two clips. It clips onto this little bar right here. The bottom of the gun, that little bar. Probably work with any of the guns that these regular battle droids come with that look like this. That's him right there. Okay, now I'll read to you what it, here's the box that it came in. It says blasters attached to the backpack. A little picture of them. It says the warning part. So is Clone Wars. The back. Star Wars Clone Wars. The IG-86 Assassin Droid number 18. Shows the rest of the wave right there. There's a little picture from the movie of Anakin and the IG right there. Read you what it says on the back. It says, the IG assassin droid was deactivated in a Trandoshian tr trader cargo hold after a buyer. Um, I'm very sorry. I can't see it very well. Let me position that again. The an IG-86 assassin droid lies deactivated in the Trandoshian trader's cargo hold until a buyer can be found for the dangerous droid. But he is accidentally reactivated by a clumsy astromech droid and the lives of everyone on board the ship are in peril. This is a figure from the new Star Wars Clone Wars TV series. The new animated one. So, I like this guy. Okay, now for articulation, I'll remove the backpack. Again, for articulation, the head spins 360 completely around the arms let me see spin 360 all the way around they can also move up down like that the elbows can go up and have full rotation the hands, which is a cool feature that I like about this guy, actually move their graspers. So you can move the hand so it grasps, take a gun, put it inside the hand, close the hand. It has that little stopper right there to stop the hand from going too far. Same for the other hand. Um, the legs, 360 degree rotation. Hinged. The knees are also hinged. Now there are these two wires right here down along each side of its legs. It's not like the IG Lancer droid where if you twist this leg a wire will pop out right there because these wires are plastic connected, plastically connected. So that won't happen. That's what I didn't like. I think they changed it for that purpose. Um, feet can move, spin 360, go up, same for the other leg. Now, what I like about this guy is in the TV series, he was able to crawl up something and then turn himself backwards. This thing, you can turn him completely, no matter what angle, so he can twist around. And then also, a cool feature is you can twist his body around. Right now, he's backwards. You can also twist his feet around, twist his head around, and now he's pretty much fighting backwards. So, that's just a cool thing. I'll put them back, right? You can't really tell between the front and the back, except the wires. That's the only way you can tell what is the front. But overall, this 
character has probably the best articulation I've pretty much ever seen in a droid, and it rivals most of the clones. So it's pretty good. I like it. So, well, I don't have very much about this. I'll be coming out with more reviews later today, and may the Force be with you.